Hi friends, my name is Michael Swan and I am the project lead for Fractal Marchers. I'm here today to explain to you what we've done, how we did it, and the journey we took. Fractal Marchers was born out of a team brainstorming session where we went from five ideas to two. Those two ideas were to do ray marching and procedural generation. A free game called Marble Marcher and the work of Inigo Keyleth inspired us to finally settle on doing something with ray marching, procedural or fractal generation, and possibly a gameplay element. Therefore, Fractal Marchers was born. The team was particularly interested in learning, so rather than developing and merging features as you would in typical software engineering, we decided to do our own ray marching implementations, followed by a merging of efforts and extensions to do interesting things. This led to a somewhat fragmented final project, which provides many interesting options. Almost all of the heavy lifting in this project comes from the fragment shader, even object collision. The project was made both in 3.js, uh, which includes GLSL, along with Unity and its own shader language. In both cases, what you see is essentially the world camera looking at a two-dimensional plane, which is displaying the fragment shader as it has its own internal camera. Now what is ray marching, you might ask? Essentially, it is a form of ray tracing where geometry is implicitly defined through mathematical distance functions rather than explicitly through vertices. By doing a variant of ray marching called sphere tracing, we're able to progressively march along cast rays in an efficient fashion until we reach close to the limit of some signed distance function. This approach lets you do cool things like infinite recursion almost for free. Realistic lighting is done by making use of the light direction, camera direction, and surface normal, just like we have done in class. Shadows are created by ray marching between the current point and the light source. If something is in the way, a shadow is specified at that point. Reflection was done by ray marching from points of intersection to the next object the light ray would hit. This can be done for a number of light bounces, but for performance reasons, we limited it to two bounces. Fractals are generated essentially by coding the algorithm originally defined for said fractal. One approach involves adding and subtracting shapes, while another approach requires literally folding space. To make the Menger sponge, we recursively subtract smaller and smaller cubes from the original cube up to some upper limit. To make the Sierpinski fractal, we define symmetric axes about which we would like to reflect about. After this reflection, we reduce the scale and shift over to our next reflection point until finally the entire fractal is created. Note that some of these reflections subtract from the existing shape while others add. This approach also has a parameter for defining how many times to fold. We also tested out an idea to do object collision, um, which is actually pretty difficult when you have no explicitly defined object geometry. The basic approach though, which we have demoed here, is to do ray marching from a physics object to all other objects around it. If a minimum distance is found from any of the rays cast from your physics object, that means we have a collision and need to respond through a change in position or velocity. Now finally, one team member investigated applying different noise functions to our objects and the lighting. The implementation of value noise in three dimensions created these alien looking surface textures. We use a gain factor of 0.5, which makes it quite similar to the popularly known pink noise, which has a gain factor of one, rather than brown noise, which has a gain factor of square root two. It was then incorporated both in geometry and lighting. Pretty cool. Now everything you see here is live right now. We added an interface so you can use your mouse to rotate the camera and WSAD and arrow keys to move around in space. You can check it out on your own computer at the link below. Thanks for your time, and if you're interested in more, check out our report. Thanks.